It's estimated that 70% of people fear flying. But should they? According to the US National Safety Council, flying in a commercial airplane is the safest mode of transport. The odds of dying in a plane crash are 1 in 200,000 based on US Census data. In comparison, the chances of dying on a bicycle are 1 in 4,000, 1 in 1,000 for drowning, and 1 in 100 for a car crash. That's because, in addition to technological advancements in aircraft over the years, international air travel is much more strictly regulated. The International Air Transport Association, established in Canada, represents 290 airlines, or 82% of global air traffic. According to their report, there have been 75 accidents every year on average since 2012, with over 10 of them fatal from an average of 37 million flights a year. Over the last five years, an average of 315 people have died in aviation crashes each year. In 2017, however, there were only 19. So according to statistics, even if you are unfortunate enough to be in an accident, you're still more likely to survive. Every year almost 4 billion passengers fly, and the number of fatalities is minimal. If you're travelling in the United States, Europe or Australia, your odds of being involved in a plane crash are far less than winning the lotto. Some regions are definitely safer than others. Statistics show that serious accidents are more common in less developed parts of Africa, some parts of Asia and South America. Plane crashes are more often than not the failure of man over machine. No accident has just one cause, but rather a combination of multiple things going wrong at once. The reality is, flying is by far the safest form of transport. People should be more worried about the taxi ride to the airport than the actual flight itself.